now we are running two codes in the active. So I am taking a is equal to rand. I want to print some random matrix. So three comma one. So this is a matrix with three rows and one column. Elements are all elements are printed in between zero and one. Now when I am using b is equal to r a and a rand some five comma four. This is a five by four matrix. All elements are printed zero in between zero and one. But when I am using a is equal to r a n d n rand n. Now you observe. Now I am taking a three by two matrix. All the elements are not in between zero and one. Some elements are negative and some elements are printing minus one point two. So the elements are printing in between two and minus two. So whenever we are taking the rand, the elements in this matrix are all elements are random values and the elements are in between zero and one. When I am using rand n, all the elements may not be in between zero and one. This is the difference between rand and the rand n. We will apply the same concept in the numpy. I have opened the pie charm. In this pie charm, I have imported the numpy and I want to print a. Now I want a two dimensional array in which three rows and one column should be there. So we are executing this. You can observe now. All the values are printed in between 0 and 1. Now I am using a rand n. We are executing the same program. Now observe. All the values are not printed in between 0 and 1. This is the only difference between rand and rand n. When we are applying the broadcasting concept, remember, if I am taking a two dimensional array, this is a two dimensional array, in this two rows are there and the three columns are there. Uh, this is like one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when we are when we are adding a two by one, the two by one addition is possible as we discussed in the last class about the broadcasting about two by three and two by one how uh, whether the addition is possible or not whether the subtraction is possible or not yes the addition and subtraction and the division are possible because the number of rows are matching and the columns in the number of columns in the second uh, number of columns in the second matrix are one uh, then the broadcasting is possible here we are taking the two arrays we can use this as yes, addition is possible now we are performing the addition but when you use a simple two here when you are using a simple two it will not give the output because when you are using a simple two it is considering it as a two comma zero so it is mandatory to mention that it is a two comma one always this is how we use rand and rand n in the python numpy for the broadcasting 